Hey guys, oh my gosh, so I did a thing. I promise this video is not pre-recorded, it's not old. See, look at my nails, I haven't had these nails yet. Yes, I did a thing. <laughs> Hashtag indecisive gap. So yes, I made a little bit of a change. That is because I was watching Blood Queens and I was just like, I miss my old hair. I've been a blonde for a little bit by now, but you guys haven't known that because I haven't been vlogging on here because Blood Queens has been coming up on the channel and I haven't been really posting recent pics to Instagram. So yes, I've been blonde for quite a bit. So yeah, I didn't mean to throw you guys off, but yes, I'm a blonde now. I'm a blonde again. I'm gonna be blonde for Halloween. I'm gonna be blonde for Christmas. Because my hair's blonde again, I'm like, you know what? What better way than to do a Blood Queens video mixed with my new hair color? So I'm gonna be doing my Gabby Oberlin hairstyles for you guys. I'm gonna teach you how to do them and I'm gonna show you guys some hairstyles that I've been doing with this blonde hair that got me really excited for Blood Queens. And these are hairstyles I'm gonna continue to do with this blonde hair. So if you wanna learn how to do these hairstyles, then Keep watching. I've never done a hairstyles video in my life before, so I'm sorry if it's bad. So this is hair that like I've slept on. I had a blowout yesterday and it was all pretty and now it's all funky and it's going every which way now. So the first hairstyle you can pretty much do with whatever kind of hair. I'm kind of liking this loose like messed up tousled look so i'm not going to touch the bottom for this first hairstyle this first one is super simple and i did this a lot in blood queens they're like these little twists where you take the front part of your hair and chanel oberlin does this a lot too where you just twist 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 and then you pin in the back so it looks like you have a half up down hairstyle but you don't and i got these fun cute little pearl bobby pins that are gold You just pin it like that. And then you take the other side and you twist, 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 twist. And you pin it like that. And it looks like this. The next few hairstyles do require heating tools. So I'm gonna be using the 32 millimeter Pro Series Curling Wand, and I'm also gonna be using the Impulse Hair Straightener. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Duval hair products. I've been using Duval for years. You guys have known this from all my past vlogs. I always provide coupon codes for you guys so you can afford the things that I buy. Yet again, I'm going to put some coupon codes down below for you guys to have fun and shop. This is the packaging that they come in. I think they'd make really cool Christmas gifts. So yeah, I'll keep that coupon code down below for you guys. It's GD Black like it always is. It's 75% off like my coupon code always allows you guys so you're welcome so I'm gonna take the 32 millimeter wand and I'm gonna go around my head and make these really cute delicate soft waves that Chanel always wears this hairstyle I didn't wear in Blood Queens this is a Chanel Oberlin hairstyle uh, she had very soft waves like this and I'm just gonna create this all around my head I always just select the hair in like uneven amounts and just grab it, run my fingers through it so it's soft, and then just wrap it around. After you've curled your hair, you don't want to use a hairspray because then it's going to harden the hair. You do want this to fall and lay very softly. This is a half up hairstyle, so I'm gonna focus on the front of the half up hairstyle first before I show you the back. You're gonna want to section it so that you have a side part even when you bring the hair back. So I like to twist like I did earlier and pin right here. Except now I'm doing one that goes down, like an X, so it holds it in place. Now I'm going to take a comb and I'm gonna part my hair back here and I'm gonna tease it a little bit underneath to help give it some volume and if you don't know what that is you get a comb and you kind of just pick at your hair like this and you aim it downwards <laughs> oh my gosh now I'm gonna brush over my hair and it's gonna give it that like oomph. Usually I'd use hairspray, but 
This is day two hair, so I don't really need it. I had hairspray in my hair yesterday. And now I'm gonna collect the hair to the back of my head. And now I'm gonna take a little black elastic. You want it so it's tightly over the tops of your ears. And it should look low like this. So it should look just like this. Now with another elastic, I'll turn around for this part. You're gonna wanna take the hair and make a hole and then flip it up. into a loop. It should look just like this. After you get your hair in a little bun like this, you want to pin it upright like this. Divide it in half and pin it on each side of your head. like this. Now you want to take this hair right here that's hanging down and you want to insert it into the hole. And then you take the bobby pins out. And then you use those bobby pins to pin this loop you just did. If you want to get creative, you could add a little pearl into the middle of your bow. So this last hairstyle is in the last episode of Blood Queens and I did leave my tie to the side uh, bang because this hairstyle involves that as well. So I'm going to pull back my hair again. This time I'm going to take a thick hair tie to secure my hair. And instead of making a ponytail, I'm going to right away start twisting my hair after I collect my hair. And I'm going to start spinning my hair around in a circle. Now I'm just gonna tie a messy bun right here. So it should look messy, it shouldn't look neat. It should look all over the place. So after you do your messy bun, you wanna take a hair accessory like this, like a chain with two bobby pins on either side. Chanel Oberlin wears this a lot and I recreated this look that Chanel Oberlin does. So you want to pin it close to your bobby pin where you pin your bangs. And you want to drag it over the bun and down. You want to hook it right here. So it should look like this. So you could either let it go and let it look like this like Chanel would do, but in my show, Blood Queens, I decided to do a long braid down the back on top of this hairstyle. And you're going to take a rubber band, like so. And now I'm taking my Duval straightener, and I'm just going to straighten the end of my hair because it's still curled from before. I'm just going to brush it softly. This is my Blood Queen's hairstyle from the last episode. Alright guys, that was my first ever hairstyles video since like 2013. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this, if you like this kind of video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And stay tuned for more Blood Queen's episodes. And just stay tuned for amazingness for this season and next season. Halloween and Christmas, they're my best season. So if I were you, I would subscribe. So yeah. Love you guys so much and stay tuned for my next fancy vlog. Bye!